So let's design、uh, chains of transformers together, right? So we will have to import all these things, right?、Uh, Spark.、Um, SQL functions, and then Spark itself, and also Spark SQL context. So as、um, before,、uh, we have to create Spark sessions like this: get or create, and then give it a name, right? And then、uh, we want to create a Spark context like this, right? It sees our Spark context, and then we want to wrap this. SQL context around Spark context to collect SQL context. So why we need SQL context is because we want it. We want to use all these SQL functions coming from、uh, PySpark. That's why we want to have instead of、um, just the regular Spark context, we want to have SQL context.、Uh, let's go ahead and run this, and then you can see. Okay, so we have. Uh, a SQL context, and then、uh, let's read some data. So, say we want to look at、um, uh, Apple's closing stock price, right? And then find out the date、uh, which Apple's closing stock price was the highest, right? So, the input data data frame looks like this. So,、uh, the data is sitting in a folder data, and now we can just read it right using SQL context, right? Read dot CSV. That's how it works, and then you can actually look at That show right. So this is one of the actions that we have、uh, covered in our last、uh, video. So you can actually do dot show or dot、uh, functions, but this is similar to you know df dot head right. So just to give you the preview, and you can see date, open, height,、uh, low, close, adjusted close, and volume. So those, these are the, almost the columns that we have, and then、uh, a very convenient、uh, function is actually called schema. You can actually do like.、Uh, Df、uh, Apple dot schema to tell you, right, the data types, right, and then all these other information, right. So,、um, all right, great. So this is kind of like similar to a Df dot info or Df dot describe, right. And then let's see, right. So we want to actually just keep only、uh, two fields, date and close, right. So close is our is our closing price, and then we want to say first order by. Um, closing、uh, price or close in descending order. So the first thing we can actually do is because we're using、uh, SQL context, right? So we can actually use all these functions from SQL. So dot select, right? We can do df number apple dot select two columns dot order by, right?、Uh, and then close. This is the field that we want to use to sort it by. And ascending is equal to false. And then we want to do show right five top five. So this is how it looks like after filtering out、uh, other columns, just grabbing date and close, and then sort it by close. So it looks like you know this date is the highest, right? Um, um, which, yeah, which is you know yesterday.、Um, okay, that's great. So now we want to.、Uh, Put some more,、uh, you know, assemblers and transformers, right? So first of all, we need to import all these things, right? So you can actually see high spark ml, right? Dot ml dot feature import min max scalar and vector assembler. Vector assembler is very very useful. So let's take a look at one of the use cases, right? So we can actually say vector assembler, and our input, right, is close. Output, we can actually give it say features, right? So this is the name that we want to give it to the output uh, um, column. So and then、uh, what we want to do is、uh, ve vector assembler dot transform. We want to transform our original DF、uh, apple into DF vector, and then we want to show it right. So the difference between so the, the first、uh, data frame that you see here is really just our original DF, and then the second one is DF number vector, which has an additional column in here. So it's called features, right? So you can actually see that. The closing the、uh, this this column right is being vectorized. It's actually a list. It's actually this is a, a list where you can call it a vector, right? Instead of just like using close as is, we're actually converting it to a vector, right? So that's what you need to do, right? When you want to use ML, right? Spark、uh, MLLive, you will need to pretty much vectorize all of your features.